All right, that's what's up. Moda Beats, last producer of the evening. I'm going to start with Kenny on this one. What you, what you think about Moda Beats? Moda Beats. All right. Uh, uh, first thing I noticed was the, the uh, and we've covered this today already, was the, the, uh, the apparent influence involved in some of the tracks um, is just... Uh, you know, I just I just hear where where you got certain sounds from, um, and you know, listeners aren't dumb; they're gonna know as well, and and ours aren't dumb; they're gonna know as well where where you know where certain sounds and and influences stem from. I think uh, I think you know you definitely you definitely have a good start. Um, you know, some good. Um, sampling and, and melodic ideas, but just work on getting, you know, carving out your own sound, you know. Like the uh, the technical aspect uh, of your production is, is good, you know. It's just something that I hear, you know, too much is, oh, I know where he got that sound, or I know, you know, I know, I know what that was like, you know, that was derived from, but you know, and that's definitely something I hear in in your production. I just think you need to push yourself um, to become more original. Um, I heard some live instrumentation, the, the, the guitar on the, on the Gangster Walk record, that was cool. You know, um, and and you know, just just make it original, man. And and I'm, I'm sure I'm sure that'll pay off. Wonderfully for you because I, I see I hear the potential. Uh, just need a little bit, a lot more originality. Oh, great, great feedback. I agree with you 100 percent on that one. That's what's up, Kels. Uh, what do you think? You agree with uh, what Kenny had to say, or? I definitely agree with everything Kenny had to say. Um, I'm interested to hear what Focus had to say because I could hear a lot of the West Coast influence in his tracks. Um, and, you know, just like Kenny said, try and, um, get a little bit of variety in there. That's, like, the most important thing, I think, um, especially when showcasing to people that are very familiar with tracks. Um, you definitely want to show your range and everything that you can do and try and pick some tracks that are 100% you, don't have any outside influence, don't have any, you know, U.S., West Coast influence, any of that, just... Pick the tracks that are are all you, 100% you, and I think you'd do a lot better in something like this. But overall, definitely a lot of talent. Keep doing what you're doing. Just, you know, keep working on improving your craft. Focus, man. She said she wanted to uh, hear what you had to say. So what's your two cents? Um, I thought it was cool. Um, I felt it was a lot more stock than... Uh, I would prefer. It was a lot more stock sounds than I heard. Um, that Gangsta Walk record, um, yeah, it is true West Coast, but it, it sounded dated to me. Um, it, it sounds like he's he's a. Uh, if anything, you you can you know definitely make that appeal to uh, my brown brothers and sisters, the uh, the Mexican population. They really love the truest sound of the West Coast. Like they're they're diehards with it, mm. and that's what's so dope about it because it does still have a niche, but you know, um, if you're not dialed into that that core fan, then I mean, um, yeah, the core audience, then you know, it's pretty much for nothing. The first record I thought was really cool, uh, track-wise. I love the soundscape. It, it sounds like everything on the radio, but I wasn't a big fan of the hook. But um, I think that just like Kel said and just like Ken said, like they they have talent. A lot of these kids have talent, but they keep dialing in on everything that is being done already. I don't want to hear anybody that sounds like me or old Dr. Dre or old DJ Quick or, or, you know, Justice League or, you know, I don't want to hear them dial into what's already been done. I want to hear them be original, yeah. set a new sound. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with being influenced. But when you're influenced to the point where you're copying and you're mocking, that's where it becomes a problem. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm with it, man. That's what's up. All right, man. That's uh, that's the last producer of the evening, Moda Beats.